Hey, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight, the uh, Farm Price IPO briefing. We're very glad to have uh, Dr. Lawrence uh, Shirley and so Ms. Mock that will be presenting. Uh, as we all know, I think Farm Price, this is the first uh, IPO of such kind from, from listing. So before much further ado, I think we will probably uh, run through the some of the corporate video to give you a better overview. As we all know, I think uh, they have just reported a very strong set of results, Q1 results. Uh, over 3 million uh, for Q1. If you were to analyze it, it is at least about 12 million uh, profit. But then again, that is before the adding on to the additional line and also the some of the new clients that they have secured. But before we start, uh, let us run through some of the corporate videos that give you a proper overview of their business. Over to your side, Dr. And Southeast Asia where the lush landscapes harmonize with bustling cityscapes. Our journey of discovery unfolds. Enveloped by this rich diversity of greenery and vibrant cities, you'll find Farm Price Holdings Berhad that extends its reach across these captivating regions, Singapore and Malaysia. Join us as we delve into the heart of Farm Price Holdings Berhad, where each step represents a promise of prosperity. Beyond Farm Price and Diran Burhad, our family of subsidiaries strengthens the foundation of Farm Price Holdings Burhad, creating a harmonious synergy that propels us towards greater heights. Founded in 2017, FB Foods and Diran Burhad specializes in wholesale distribution of F&B products and groceries, ensuring that quality nourishment reaches every corner. Next, we have Sithya Kawan Marketing and Diran Burhad, established in 2010, which is dedicated to serving the local community with fresh and wholesome choices. In Singapore, our subsidiary Topstar Trading Private Limited shines bright. Topstar specializes in the wholesale distribution of fresh vegetables, ensuring that Singaporeans enjoy nature's bounty daily. Together, these subsidiaries weave the story of Farm Price Holdings, a story of excellence, diversity and unyielding commitment. Every great journey begins with a single step. In 2004, our humble beginnings in Taman Putri Kulai Johor laid the foundation for something extraordinary. In 2006, we embarked on a new horizon, exporting fresh vegetables to Singapore. 2009 marked our expansion as we relocated to industrial buildings in Skudai Johor. 2018 was a turning point as we broke ground for the Sinai Centralized Distribution Center, a state-of-the-art facility. 2020 marked a year of recognition as Farm Price achieved ISO 9001, HACCP and GMP certifications, signifying our commitment to quality. 2021 witnessed our continued growth with the expansion of the Sinai Centralized Distribution Center, providing more space for fresh produce. 2022 was a year of milestones, halal certification for our Sinai Centralized Distribution Center. In November 2022, we secured another piece of land behind our Sinai Centralized Distribution Center, setting the stage for future expansion. Let's delve into the thriving ecosystem of Farm Price Holdings, starting with Farm Price and Dirian Burhad. Our flagship Sinai Centralized Distribution Center is where excellence meets cutting-edge technology. Within these walls, a symphony of divisions work in harmony to deliver quality and freshness every day. In this receiving dock, the journey of freshness begins as the finest harvests from far and wide arrive at our doorstep. At the heart of our operation lies the cold room, meticulously controlled to preserve the essence of every harvest. Our cold room facilities at our Sinai Centralized Distribution Center span over 24,066 square feet with specialized areas for storage and processing. With a discerning eye and trained hands, our dedicated team scrutinizes every detail. Here, freshness is transformed into perfection and quality is the standard we live by. Processing rooms three and four are our sanctuaries of freshness where vegetables undergo a meticulous processing. In these rooms, our vegetables are not just processed, they are perfected. Welcome to the heart of our packing division where every vegetable is meticulously prepared for its journey to your plate. Whole vegetables are carefully sorted, weighed and packaged into retail-friendly formats. 
Whether you're after fresh cut or pre-packed vegetables, our packing division makes sure every bite is top-notch. This is where we make sure your vegetables travel in the best possible conditions. Our logistics orchestra comprises a harmonious blend of 14 refrigerated trucks and 25 other delivery trucks, each serving a unique role in our mission. These specialized vehicles ensure that our delicate cargo, including leafy greens and vibrant vegetables, stay in peak condition. Our fleet, diverse yet unified, is the backbone of our logistics operations, ensuring our products reach their destination every time. Our journey is guided by a simple motto, everyone can create a better life. Our vision extends beyond profit, it's about making a positive impact on people's life. We are dedicated to nurturing excellence. And together we are sowing the seed of the better life. We invite you to join us in this journey. Our journey is more than growth, it's a commitment to the world we share. With sustainable practices woven into our operations, we proudly embrace initiatives like solar energy to power our path towards a greener future. At Farm Price, we stand firm in our dedication to operating with utmost respect for the planet we call home. Join us on this exciting journey. Together, we can continue to grow, thrive, and make a difference in the world of fresh vegetables. Farm Price Holdings Berhad, where quality, innovation, and passion meet excellence. Everyone can create a better life. In the Over to you, Doctor. Okay, thank you, uh, Vincent. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let me... First of all, I would like to thank you for your time uh, with us today. So let me introduce our, our company to you, the presentation to you, uh, please. Okay, doctor. Okay. Is, all right. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank, thank you. Okay. Farm price is managed by a team called Experience and Hands-On Management Team. Myself, I have a doctorate degree and my partner, Mix Liu Sui'er. Uh, she has a master's degree. Both of us are the founder of this company and we have more than 20 years of uh, experience. So with our team, our key senior management, we have uh, Miss Bok to take care of the finance, Christopher Lim for the sales department, Mr. Ho for the logistic operation and warehouse management, and we have Nolo Fatina for the quality and compliance department. So most of them have more than eight years and above relevant experience. Next, please. So what is our business activities? Farm Pride, actually, it consists of two segments. We have what, what uh, first segment is wholesale distribution and second segment is retail. But for the wholesale distribution, we have fresh vegetables and we also have F&B products and other groceries. So for the fresh vegetables, we have whole vegetables, we have pre-packed vegetables, and we also have fresh cut vegetables. And for the F&B products and other grocery, we have our own brand, which is Full Power Energy Drink. And we also have various fruit juice. Besides that, we also carry the party blanks of package beverage. So for the wholesale distribution, we is actually accounted for nearly 94% of our total revenue. And we also have one retail shop in Ulutilang, Johor for the, our retail of our fresh vegetables, F&B products and other grocery. Next, please. So this is the outlook of our Senai Central Distribution Center. We are very near to Sinai International Airport, about 10 minutes by car. So our total area is about two acres of land, which is about 80,000 square feet of the built-out area. And out of this, 30% are dedicated to cold room facilities for storage, processing, and packing. So we are serving both Malaysia and Singapore market. 
คาร์โนนี next this is part of our uh, the inside of our so nice so nice central distribution center in Johor so you have a look actually we have a processing room we have packing room we have loading and unloading bay and we have very big cold storage next and Beside this, we are supported by six regional distribution centers. We have two in Johor, two in Selangor, one in Perak, and one in Penang. Actually, for the distribution of, mainly for the distribution of the FMB products and other grocery. Next, please. So what is our distribution channel and our customer base? The main purpose is we want to optimize our market access and also our product coverage. So for the indirect distribution, we have uh, retailers such as supermarket, minimarket. We have a big wholesalers in Johor Bahru. And we have others such as switch channelers and also army can suppliers. And for the direct distributor, we have restaurant, catalogs, and food court store and also hawkers. And we also have uh, food manufacturer big brand name in Singapore and in, in JB. So we also have our end consumer through our operation of our retail store. So currently we are serving about 800 to 1,000 active customers. Next, please. So this slide show us the, the shows to you that uh, we the ability that we have to serve world-class food service company we are dealing with this company, Corpus Group Singapore Private Limited, for more than eight years. And uh, this is a very big company. It's a subsidiary of the uh, Fortune 500, World Fortune 500 company, listed in the stock, London Stock Exchange. So they are very big. They are, they are doing, uh, they, are, they are operating FMB uh, services. So have more than 60 locations in Singapore. We are supplying most of the vegetables to them. So they are, they are, we are dealing with them for, for, for more than eight years and they are happy with our quality and our service. Next, please. So we also comply with the international recognized standard uh, such as ISO, CCCP, GMP. And uh, we also, our product also HALA certified. Next, please. So what is our competitive advantage? The first is that we have a wide variety of the fresh vegetables. We have more than about 1,000 SKU of fresh vegetables to meet our diverse customer need. So we have a various type of vegetables. So uh, this is one of our advantage. Next, please. And our second advantage is we have very added services to meet our customer needs, especially customer in Singapore. So we have pre-packed fresh vegetables. We every add, we have very add for them, sorting and size and trim and weight and pack into until until a small pack, retail pack. So for the purpose of we selling to many we selling to the retail market in Singapore. And besides that we also have fresh cut vegetables. We wash, peel, cut uh, to make the the requirement of our the, the requirement of our customers so actually we customize customize to clients requirement so uh in order to reduce their preparation times and in fact this where this very added service can command a higher profit margin for our company next please thirdly we have an extensive suppliers network in Malaysia and overseas. You have seen here, we have 90 to 100 suppliers of fresh vegetables currently. Why? We want to have so many of the suppliers. In fact, we want to ensure the consistent and reliable source of supply of fresh vegetables to meet our customer need all year round in, without any interruptions. And at the same time, we also want to reduce the de dependency on the single source of supplies in order to 
Also, at the same time, want to minimize the supply chain disruption. Next, please. So this is our fourthly, our complete infrastructure, supporting infrastructure. We have a core change infrastructure. We have a refrigerated truck or then for the units of refrigerated trucks. We have big core rooms which can store uh, many, many containers of the body fix, containers of the uh, vegetables inside our core rooms, which is about 24,000 square feet. And we also have a processing room to process vegetables and also to pre-pack into our vegetables into retail packing. Next, please. And we also have our normal truck, which is really about 25 units of normal truck. In fact, we are, I mean, this truck being used for the delivery of the fresh vegetable and also at the same time for the FMP products and grocery. So what is the complexity in seeing in our business? So why we are so different from others? The first, first, so first point is that strategic, strategic sourcing, a local and global procurement network to source product variety at optimal cost and quality. And we, number two, we, the regulatory compliance, we can supply to Singapore because the Singapore standard is quite stringent and uh, we, we can do it and we can fulfill to the requirement by the SFA, food safety standard uh, imposed by the government in Singapore. And we have the market eligibility and we can adopt to the daily price, price uh, frustrations of the fresh vegetable market. And we have a very strong inventory management. We can manage a vast and fast moving perishable inventory with meticulous tension to quality and self-life optimi optimization. So number five, we have our logistic planning. In fact, we, we manage our, our own traps and we outkeep our own traps. Why? Because we want to ensure that we can deliver, deliver the, the goods to our customer on time without any failure. Next, please. So what is our, our business strategy and also our future plan? We want to expand our Sinai Centralized Distribution Center. Number one, we want to construct new facility. With the addition of this new facility, there will be uh, another 90%, at least 90% of the total build-out area. So after the completion of this phase, this new phase facility, we will have about 150,000 square feet, nearly two acres of land. So inside this new facility, we have office space, we have a ambient operation area, we have a new hostel for workers, and we also have a covered workshop to maintain our fleet. Next. And we also plan to expand our value-added processing area, which command a higher margin for us. So we want to en enhance, we want to increase more processing areas in this new expansion, Sinai Centralized Distribution Center. Then we also want to purchase machineries and equipment for processing operation, such as automated packing machine, building machine, cutting machine, and also the pre-cooling, vacuum pre-cooling equipment to ensure to increase the productivity and also want to enhance the freshness of the vegetables. And last but not least, we want to expand our transportation fleet from 39 trucks to the total, the final figure of 55 units of the transportation fleet. Next, please. Besides that, we also want to expand our regional distribution center and procurement center. We have the plan to set up two centers, one in Cameron Highland Pahan, as a procurement center and another one in Nilai, 
in order to expand our geographical coverage, especially in Klang Valley. We also plan to set up sales and marketing office in Singapore to expand our market reach and better search, search our existing customer. Next, please. And this is some of our ESG. We have installed our solar panel on top of our roof currently. And we want to increase it when the new facility has been completed. And we want to highlight to you that our waste during the processing of a fresh vegetable, all those waste, organic waste, actually being used for animal feeding and also for fertilizer usage. And what is our industry overview? As you know, that fresh vegetable is an essential industry and it is also a part of Malaysia food security agenda. So you can see that the more population, the growing population, at the same time, the needs of the vegetables also increase. So you have a look of the market research that last year we have about 7.6 billion ringgit consumption of fresh vegetable. So what does it mean? It means that there's huge opportunity and that there's a lot of rooms to develop this business in Malaysia and also in Singapore. Next, please. Okay, I would like to uh, pass my presentation to Ms. Mo, my senior finance manager. Okay, so this is our revenue growth trajectory. So you can see that the revenue increased from 73.5 million to 94.4 million from, from year 2020 to year 2022. Okay, so that's... Uh, Although this period is uh, in COVID-19 pandemics, uh, however, uh, it show the resilient demand for the fresh vegetable. So the revenue further increased to 114.2 million in year 2002-03, which is 21% growth as compared to year 2022. Okay, so uh, in terms of GP margin, um, that show in year 2021, show that there's a lower GP margin. This is mainly due to higher labor and shipping costs during the pandemic. And then, uh, however, the GP margin increased to 20.2% in year 2002-03. So this is because uh, of the normalization of those procurement, shipping, and labor costs uh, during this year. So this is more reflective of our business profitability. Next. Okay, so this is the segmentation breakdown for the, uh, for the revenue in geographical area. So we can see that the revenue contributed by the Singapore increased over the year in terms of amount and percentage. Okay, so in terms of GP margin, uh, the GP margin contributed by the Singapore is 33.1% as compared to Malaysia 15.8%. So this is our bottom line. So we can see that the PPT and PAT is maintained upward trends. So this is um, consistent with our revenue and the GP margin growth. Next. So this is adjusted PPT and PAT. So this is after adjusted those uh, loan interest income, one of net gain from the disposal of investment property, expenses in relation to the disposal, as well as the listing expenses. Okay, so we can see that in year 2003, the PBT and PAT is 12.8 and 9.3 million respectively. Next. So this is our balance sheet. So we can see that we have solid balance sheet in terms of cash flow from operating activity. Okay, we can see that um, we are able to maintain positive cash flow from operating activity throughout the years. 
in terms of turnover here for trade receivable and trade payable turnover you can see that the turnover days is less than 60 days and the event inventory turnover day is in between 12 to 19 days so this is this uh, short turnover is reflect our nature of business as our most of our inventory is fresh vegetable Okay, so next, the current ratio and gearing ratio. So we can see that our current ratio and gearing ratio is improved over the years. Um, so for gearing ratio, that will be even better after listing. Okay, that's all my financial highlights. So I pass back to Mr. Tio. Thank you, Ms. Mo. Okay, I would like to highlight some IPO highlight on the... Okay, next, please. Okay, we are going for Ace Market. Uh, our price is $0.24. Cent and uh, the market cap is $108 million. The P ratio is 12.4 times based on financial year 2023 PAT. And our counter is Sharia compliance. And for the public issue of the new share, it's about 22.7%, it's about $102 million. And offer for sales for existing share is 7.3%, equivalent to 33 million. So the total number of IPO share is 135 million. Next, please. So this is our utilization of our proceeds. So you have you can see that all our proceeds, excluding the estimated listing expenses, will go towards business expansion. So for the construction of the new facility, purchase for machinery, plan regional distribution, Kilman, working capital as well. So we are here to stay, to develop, to grow the business to a greater height. So this is our post IPO shareholding structure. We have about 30% of the share will be, will be owned by the public, the remaining, 70% by me and um, Miss Lucy Er and also TLC consolidation. Next, please. So tomorrow is our listing day on Ace Market of Prusa Malaysia Security Per Heart. Next, please. So with this, I end my presentation. Thank you very much. Hey. Thank you, Dr. Lawrence, and thank you, Ms. Mock. Yes, tomorrow is the big day. This yeah. thing day is so interesting. Um, so far, yes. I think we have looked at the some of the analysts that uh, have given the reports. I think so far it ranges from 25 cents to 44 and a half cents. Okay, interesting. So let's run through some of the questions that we have for the night. As you all are the first to be listed on the ACE market and also the Bursa Malaysia of such business. Um, who are your competitors and how do you uh, differentiate yourself between them? In fact, there's no, I'm the first one, or perhaps we are the first one, and there's no listed uh, company in the same identical business model. So we only can compare with those non-listed uh, entities. So in fact, uh, the most important thing is that this business, you have to, uh, because we have a track record of more than 20 years in this industry, and we, we, can, we offer actually, in fact, wide variety of the fresh vegetables to meet the requirement of our customers. And we also have a key supporting infrastructure. As you see, uh, the presentation just now, we have a big uh, call room to store vegetables and which maybe not many people can do that. And we have built an extensive network of suppliers and also customers in Malaysia and in foreign countries. So it takes time and we are doing and we are, we are building this kind of relationship with our suppliers for a long time already. So we can source a very good price and affordable price and very good quality products. And we have a both 
indirect and direct con uh, distribution channel. So our market is actually, in fact, we coverage most of the market. So we also enjoy so-called logistical advantage due to our proximity to Singapore, allowing us to supply to, to the Singapore. So we have the great advantage. But in fact, the most important thing is that how we can deliver profit, how we can continuously success in, the, in, the, in this kind of business. And at the same time, we can deliver profit. So if we compare with the peers, I think we are far better and we can position ourselves in terms of profitability, we can position ourselves in the very front uh, position. Okay, Vincent? Okay. Um, in fact, I think um, at Prospectus, we see that the FY2023 uh, revenue and also profit jump uh, quite quite substantially. Could you explain uh, what, are, what are the reasons for, for that? Uh? You mean financial year 2023? Yeah, 2023. Okay. If in left side to be compared with uh during pandemic, why our profit and our 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 what we call turnover is not that great compared with 2023. So that's before 2023, 2022, 2022 and 2021. In fact, at that time, as you know that lockdown, so there's farming, and actually a lot of farming has been, uh, fund has been abandoned because of the shortage of the worker. No people working inside the farm to produce vegetables. So at that time, the supply of vegetables is, is, is very, very volatile and very, very high price because of shortage. So in year 2023, everything go back, normalize, normalization, everything go back to normal. So people, are more and more people, especially young people, uh, they are more interested in farming already at this moment. So we can see from uh, from the data and also from some of the suppliers, the new new suppliers, they are very young and they're interested to go into the farming. So as a result, there are more people working on the farming and, as, and they can produce more vegetables to supply to the market. So the price is very, the supply and demand is very favorable in year 2023. So another also important thing is that because the revision of the price, because in Singapore, I got one, I got, I got one uh, customer, which is a quite big customer, contributed about more than 33 to 4% of our total revenue at Compass Group. Uh, during pandemic, we are not be able to revise the price. So uh, luckily in year 2023, we managed to uh, revise the price. And that's why the margins, we can generate more margin from there. And also we 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 have uh also we, we saw quite high high sales of a vegetable in Singapore in year 2023. So these are some of the factors that affected and uh and 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 caused the the the, the big challenge on in, in, in terms of uh, PAT in terms of the turnover. Thank you, Dr. Lawrence. I think, in fact, your current Q1 results that you just announced also is, is still showing very strong uh, results as well. Okay, how, as, as we, all, we all can see, the your export to Singapore give you higher margin. How do you plan to increase that segment? You mean export to Singapore, right? Yes, yes, yes. Because higher yes, margin. Is, yes, very high margin. Because as you see here, the cut wedgie is about nearly to 30% sometimes 40%, 30 to 40% uh, of the GP margin. And also the prepack is uh, can can generate 
nearly 20 to 30 percent. So that's why we are we are very uh we want to develop this more in Singapore. That's why we want to set up one another uh one uh, what we call sales and marketing office in Singapore with more uh, sales personnel to in fact to expand our business to look for new customer and at the same time to serve our existing customer. Currently, your distribution center and also your uh, cold room facilities is uh, showing uh, almost uh, 90, 90 percent uh, utilization. How do you intend to? How can you still show growth? I mean, how do you plan to grow your segment? And your expansion is only uh, ready by twenty twenty five. Yeah, this is a very good question. Okay, in fact, uh so far, there is no big issue and we still can continue to grow the business. And uh, if that, the, the needs arise, in fact, we want to increase our production shift because currently we are, we are running one shift, 12 hours, 12 to 13 hours. So we plan to add another shift by employing more workers so to run 24 hours. And at the same time, we want to add additional transportation trick, delivery trick. So in order to maximize, maximize our storage space. So also we, at the same time, we want to develop Cabbages from China, let's say, for a month, I need about let's say uh mm -hmm. ten containers. I will talk to them. We can schedule it to space out some of our assistant space inside our call room by rotating. Uh, by in fact, we want to to give them schedule instead of maybe three containers per week. I will I will plan for two week two containers. And they say at the same time, you know, uh, to ensure the most the, the most important thing is that we, to ensure there's continuous supply to our customer. The, the, the stock is always there. So that is a procurement side that I can plan on that. And also we, we can do something like we hire a refrigerated container uh, to store our storage, store our vegetables inside the container. So at the same time, we can park all the refrigerator containers at our place because our, we got we still got a lot of empty space. Well, we can park quite a numbers of uh, containers. And if really there's there is, is a necessity uh, that we can secure maybe a year contract with our third party cold room, which we can uh, store our vegetables the third party storeroom for temporary for 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 that for that one year until our new facilities is completed so also uh bear in mind that because of uh the camera highlands and also the knee line we also have core room and it will get ready by the end of this q4 q4 of this year 2024 so we are expecting uh, that to increase more, uh, to increase our storage and also uh, to, to generate more sales from there. Okay, Vincent. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Um, is your GP margin sustainable going forward? Uh, your margins? We are very confident. In fact, we are very confident uh, we can sustain and we also can improve better. We are very confident in that. You hear that? Um, in view of that, um, of the higher margin business that uh, your export to Singapore, earning Sing dollar, that gives you higher margin, is there any Singaporean companies that is also 
that has set up in Malaysia and also export the vegetables to Singapore? This is a very good question. In fact, uh, I also uh, like to tell you that for Singaporean to, co to come to Malaysia to set up business, there, there is a lot of risk, in fact, uh, they need to take, they need to take, uh, they need to have uh, talent people, they need to have uh, what we call good people to operate for them. And in fact, uh, I can see is, is there, there was some examples and one of the big player, in fact, last few years, he set up the base in, 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 in Malaysia and finally, uh he quick and uh <clears throat> and went out the company and returned back to Singapore. And currently he's my he's my customer in, in, in Singapore. So this is uh what we call uh the risk is very very high and also because they're Singaporean they they need they need to know the 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 culture and they need to understand the procedure of doing business in in Malaysia. Uh, so uh, I can say that because I'm I'm Malaysia, so I can do business in Malaysia. And I also a Singapore PR. And I also can do business in Singapore. So this is a good point that uh, both of us, uh, uh, Miss Liu also Singapore uh, PR and Malaysia. So both of us are actually, in fact, we have the advantage if compared with those Singaporeans who want to come to Malaysia. So there is many, there's uh, there are quite, quite a number of failures for them to establish a company in, in Malaysia. So uh, I'm, I'm confident, I, we are very confident and we have more better advantage than them, than that. Hey, thank you, Doctor. Um, have you encountered any shortage of vegetables that you are unable to supply or something? Uh? Any vegetables? Uh, do you have these vegetable issues and stuff like that? You know, like not enough vegetables and stuff like that uh, or, or some which other things, uh, incidents? So, so far, there is no big issue. What you see that uh, the risk is that uh, because of the weather condition, right, which is out of our control, uh, and especially during the flood, you know, and drought, you know, so the people cannot plant the vegetable, and and the farm being being uh being actually being washed away by the water, you know, so it 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 usually it will happen, but one thing advantage is that, uh, we have a very extensive of uh, have a have an extensive extensive of of our supplier network, if today certain area in our our farming uh being flooded we will immediately get the goods and import the goods directly from OC in Thailand from Thailand maybe from Indonesia or maybe from Vietnam so we have the so-called uh knowledge and experience and very we can do it very fast uh, and we need to do it very fast to ensure the destructions of the of the so-called supplies of the vegetables to the very very minimum, and so far we are happy to say that uh, everything is quite smoothly, and uh, nothing big issue happen at this moment, so we can manage it. In fact, I don't know, the the India or Pakistan they 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 don't allow ex pot of onions or something or chilies, uh, I think. Yeah, this is uh I think everybody knows this uh this this uh, news, right? I think happens about a few months ago. So India has banned, in fact, India has banned the the the, the onion. And uh but now already opened already, we opened already. Okay. So India has banned the, the, the onion, but finally we have to, to to import from Pakistan. Pakistan Subsequently, also banned the, the export of onion because of the domestic uh, uh, demands. It's very high. So, what's the next choice? We have to buy from China. So, today, I, I just want to share with you that why we don't 
depend on one single source. We have alternative source. If any happen, anything happened to the original source. So we can do this. And in fact, we are delivering this to, in fact, we want to, con we want to minimize the disruptions to the supply of fresh vegetables. Hey, doctor. Um, now currently you are only doing vegetables. Uh, any plans to venture into fruits, fruits? Uh, you know, uh, distribution or 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 farming, vegetable farming. As you see here, our market share is not is is very small. So there is actually to us is a a, a lot of opportunity to develop our fresh vegetables in Malaysia and in Singapore. So recently we we were focus we were focus on the development of our of fresh vegetables, but. Doctor, you're mute. You're, you're mute. Okay, Vincent? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, let me continue, yeah? Okay. Recently, actually, in fact, we want to focus on fresh vegetables because the room is, uh, the, the, the rooms of development is where is, is great and uh, there are still a lot of uh, uh, room that we can develop. And you can see that our market share is about 1% for Malaysia, both Malaysia and Singapore. So, there are more, yeah, they are still ninety nine percent. Yeah, that we can develop this uh, this business. But if in the future for the diversification, let's say we want to venture into farming, or venture into uh uh, uh fruits business, if we have the ability or at that time, we are welcome, and we will plan on that. Uh, if you are stable. Maybe we can discuss and 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 and, and do something for the diversification of our business. That is the new future. Okay, doctor. Um, currently, I think uh, the the highest margin business is the export to Singapore. Currently, it accounts for about 20, 21 percent, twenty five percent. If I um, yes. going forward, what going forward, what what is the 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 the, the balance that you do? Q1 or Q1 is a 28%. Oh, uh, lucky. Uh, I would like to say that I'm happy to say that to share with you is about uh, Q1 is about 28 already. So we increased from 25 to 28 already. So we are expecting the export uh, percentage would be more going forward. So then you will improve your margins going forward as well. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Looks like we have answered the questions that they have. I think someone asking about the any cornerstone uh, investors. Uh, I don't think we, uh, there's any cornerstone investors for for. In for fact, fund price. in fact, there are a lot of people asking for that. In, in fact, the ST they're asking for that, but because our our share is not enough at this moment. So we are we are quite yeah. small. Uh, so we are we are growing, we are growing uh in the future. So don't worry, don't worry. All those like Insti, if you are welcome, you are welcome to uh we are open for discussion. It's in the future. Uh. Good, 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 good to hear that. Okay, I think yeah, I think we have covered most of the the questions that they have for tonight. Uh, anything you would like to add, Doctor and Shirley? Before we end the webinar okay. tonight, the sharing. I would like to uh, make a conclusion. So actually, in fact, thank you very much for diving in uh, this evening. I hope you all have a better understanding and also idea about the veggie distribution business now. And uh, I just want to say we are serious about growing our business. And there are so many opportunities around us, as I mentioned. I'm confident we can grow our revenue and profit 
by double digit growth rate. Please follow our growth progress, posted post listing, and you can see the result for yourself. So thank you and good night, everybody. Hey, thank you. Look forward for tomorrow's uh, listing day. Thank you, Mason. Thank you. Thank you very Stay much. Uh, we will have Dr. and Shirley back again uh, for the next session again after the yeah. results. Sure, okay, sure. Thank, okay. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.